Yo, Life Changers kids, what's up? It's Galito here. We're here with Jesus League Week 2. How did you guys feel about Jesus League last week? Did you guys enjoy it? We want to know. Comment what your favorite part is. I honestly loved every single moment. I just didn't like losing against, you know, in the game. I really wanted to win that. Savannah got lucky. But anyway, guys, week two is here. We're coming at you with bigger and better things. And it's so awesome. I'm so excited for what we have in store for you guys. So, hey, buckle up. Get ready. Make sure you guys participate through the whole entire video because there's so much for you guys to have fun, to learn from, and it's going to be so good. So I hope you guys are ready. I am ready. Week two is here. Are you ready? Nah, come on. Be louder. Are you ready? All right, let's go. get up on your feet wherever you are in your living room or in your room or in the kitchen wherever you are I want you guys to get up because we are about to go crazy and we are about to worship all right but you know I'm kind of feeling lonely on this stage right now I don't know it feels a little empty but I kind of want to bring someone up here just to join me and join us and everything so on the count of three I want you guys to help me bring up my special friend ready three two one panda Okay, he's the loser. Alright. Okay, panda. Panda? Panda Express? I'm kidding. <laughs> Alright guys, let's get ready to worship. Alright. Panda is here. He's gonna worship with us. Let's go crazy wherever you are. Let's go.
Welcome back to Game Zone. Today we are playing the one-handed bracelet challenge. Mm -hmm, that is true. So in order to play this game, what you're going to need to do, get some pipe cleaners, get a bowl of cereal that has a little hole in it. We got some Fruit Loops over here, one of my favorites. And basically, you have to make a bracelet with the pipe cleaner and the Fruit Loops using one hand only. I mean, it's going to be a bit of a challenge, mm -hmm. but I think, I think I got this, honestly. No. I don't know about Mel over here, but I think I'm going to win. So whoever has the most Fruit Loops on their pipe cleaner wins the challenge. All right. Are I'm you ready. ready for this? Yeah, let's get started. Can we get a timer? One minute, one minute. Timer, timer, timer. Go! Oh, gosh. I'm doing pretty good. Wait, this is like, you know that game? Um, what's it called with the little fish where you have to go fishing for them? With the, fish. no, not go fish. That's a card game. The one where you have to like use the little pulp, whatever. Anyways, I am definitely winning. This is actually kind of tricky. Ooh, ooh. That one almost fell off. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're not sliding. 30 seconds left. How many? You got 15 seconds? Oh man, oh man. Okay. I gotta put it on. <laughs> we definitely couldn't get that on. I could not put it on. Okay, we need a judge to like determine who wins this game. Because I really don't know. She has more Fruit Loops, but mine is more of a bracelet at this point. Um, Wait, count your Fruit Loops. Well, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, here's the judge. Hey, guys. I'm here to judge. You already know me. I'm an unbiased, honest opinion guy, right? So let's see this. Mel, that looks really good. I'm going to be honest. I, at the very... I, I, did you cheat, Mel? No. I didn't see any Fruit Loops on until like right now. They've been on the whole time. <laughs> okay. All right. Mm. But Sophia, well, what are you doing here with your hand? It seems like you're holding it. Because we had to put it on like a bracelet, so I was in the process of tying it together. You know? Yeah, but like it's not even a bracelet. So with that being said, 
Since both of them couldn't do a bracelet, but Mel has more Fruit Loops, the winner is Mel! All right, I did my judging. I can't believe this. Good game, Mel. I guess you won this time, but next time I definitely got you. I have my strategy. So with that being said, we're gonna continue with our amazing segment. My favorite thing ever, we are going to worship together. So let's go. Whoa, guys, how intense was that game? That was so cool and so fun. But hey, we're not done worshiping. We have worship round number two with Mr. Panda here. All right, so on the count of three, I want you guys to scream as loud as you can. Already? Three, two, one. Woo! Let's go. <laughs> Because after school, I get to go home and relax. We have a game today, don't you remember? Oh, yeah. I forgot. Yo, what's up, guys? Uh, yeah. You guys ready for the game today? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's gonna be good. Mm -hmm. Take Yeah. You alright? Oh yeah. I, I, I'm just a, a little nervous, and I kind of don't want to be like you know an embarrassment to the team and everything. What, so. dude? Don't say that. You're not an embarrassment to the team. Listen, basketball it does involve skill and whatnot. But the biggest thing that makes players great is boldness and confidence. That's huge. If you have that, man, we can do this. We're, we're a team. We'll get through this together. Yeah. Wow. Okay, yeah. I, I, I think I'll be ready. Yeah. See you guys after school. Uh, all right, bye, guys. shots like not to mention how far you are when you're making them dude remember what I told you in the beginning of the day you just got to have confidence and be bold that your shots gonna go in but also it takes like some practice and just repetition oh okay okay yeah, yeah got it. hey Mary come here Whew. all right guys big game today against the fire obviously so let's just give it everything we've got and let's just play hard and let's have fun we'll do it all right nice. sounds good sounds good all right here we go, let's go.
didn't you at least shoot? You saw what was happening out there. I couldn't make a single shot, and I was being guarded. There's no way I was going to make that. Mar, you can't think like that, man. No matter what, if you're on the court or at school, or at home, whatever it is, man, you just have to be bold. You have to trust God. Focus on Him. Focus on what you're going to do, and you can do it, man. Exactly. Amari, we believe in you, and God believes in you, so you just need to believe in yourself. Yeah. You guys are right. I, I should have been doing that all along. Yeah, now we have one more half to go. The game's not over. Yep. We can still finish this, right? All right, I'll be ready this time. All right, here we go. Here we go. said and trusted God and man I took that leap of faith. That is awesome in here Amari. So good. So guys this is just the beginning. Wow. We, we're gonna do so much damage. Yeah. 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 First Raptors first win. But you know I'm super pumped for the next games but I'm so tired. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Definitely we deserve this so let's go rest. Yeah. This is, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I wow boys and girls how awesome was that drama hitting the game with his shot even though like he was scared to do it but he ended up having the boldness to hit that shot and it went in so great but guys today our lesson is all about how jesus has called us to be bold so what i was thinking i was like you know what chandler you need to be bold today you need to do something bold so in case you guys didn't know i'm not the best swimmer i don't really know how to swim that best um so what i was gonna do is i'm gonna get on a, this kayak over here and i'm gonna go into this lake and I'm just gonna be bold today. I'm gonna take a risk and I'm just gonna try to make my way all the way to the other side. So what I want you guys to do, I want you guys to strap in, get ready, we're gonna go in and we're gonna go to the other side. But I also have a story that I wanna share with you that this just makes me think of. So ready? All right, let's go. guys I finally made it out here into the middle of the lake guys it was kind of scary at first because when I got in I started tipping and I was like oh my gosh I did not want to fall because I don't know how to swim that well so I did not want to drown but guys I made it out here and it reminded me of the story that I want to talk to you guys about today about how Jesus and the disciples how Jesus sent the disciples in the boat to get to the other side right so this story happened exactly after they just fed 5,000 people. Jesus told the disciples, hey, I want you guys to get in the boat, go to the other side, and I will meet you there. Jesus ended up going up to the mountain to pray. And then as the disciples were making their way in, so right, they have these little paddle boards just like us, or they're in a boat, but they're making their way to the other side, right? And as soon as they get into the middle, all of a sudden a storm comes. And basically there's a bunch of wind and the water the waves are crashing all over the place and like it's getting pretty wild it's getting pretty crazy and then all of a sudden the disciples look out and they see a figure right they see a figure walking on the water guys I don't know about you but I'd probably be kind of scared if I saw someone walking on the water towards me and what they thought it looked like they thought it was a ghost like who else would you think it is walking on water other than a ghost right so they get scared they freak out and then all of a sudden 
Jesus yells out, guys, do not be afraid for it is I, right? And as soon as they hear that, Peter's like, oh my gosh, is that Jesus or is that a ghost? So what Peter does is he's like, Jesus, if this is truly you, tell me to come out to you. Let me walk on water towards you. And Jesus calls Peter to him. And what Peter does is he steps out of the boat, his eyes are locked on Jesus, and he begins to walk on water. But then the disciples notice the waves are getting bigger, the wind is getting stronger, and all of a sudden, Peter decides to look at the wind, look at the waves, and he starts to sink, right? He starts to fall down into the water, and Jesus quickly comes up to him and grabs him and says, Peter, do you not have faith? Why did you doubt me? And he pulled Peter up and brought him back into the boat. And then all of a sudden the wind and all the storms ceased, right? And guys, that's an awesome picture of just like who Jesus is. Whenever we are going through a storm, whenever there's a storm around us, but when we take our eyes off of Jesus, then that's when we begin to sink, right boys and girls? So for you guys, whenever you guys feel like things are getting hard, maybe school's hard, maybe being at home is tough during the season and doing online schooling, maybe that's it's a tough season for you and it's hard to do, but you're getting used to it. Always keep your eyes on Jesus. Stay looking at him. Be bold. Your boldness comes in your trust in Jesus, right? So when you guys trust him, you guys are going to be bold. You guys are going to be able to do all kinds of things. You're not going to you're not going to sink. And if you do, if you do at all, Jesus is still going to be there to pick you up and, and, and save you from, from falling, falling into the water, all right? Peter believed and trusted Jesus, and Jesus ended up coming in to save him. So what I want you guys to remember today is that Jesus has called us to be bold. So whatever it is that you want to, you want to be bold at, maybe there's something that you're scared of doing, and you don't know if you want to do it, but you, people are telling you, hey, you know what, you can do this. Like, you'd be a great basketball player. You'd be, you know, a great artist, and you're scared to kind of do that. I want you guys to take a leap of faith today. I want you guys to be bold and know that you guys have the ability to do anything you want as long as you keep your eyes focused on Jesus, right? Does that make sense, guys? So I hope you guys receive that. I hope you guys get that. I'm going to continue to go to the other side. You guys come with me. But until next time, I will see you very, very soon. <laughs>
Have you guys heard that song? Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark. No. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Okay. What? That is correct. Wait, was it the shark? Hey, they shark. didn't know what Jesus was because he was so far away. Uh, Great I... job, Mel. Wow. Okay. All right. Let's move on to question number two. What did the disciples think Jesus was? A, a bird. B, a bear. C, a ghost. D, a walking tree. All right. Who knows the answer? Uh, Mel? They definitely thought he was a bird. <laughs> they <laughs> thought he was a ghost. Duh. Wow. You are correct, Bonnie. They thought Jesus was a ghost. Nice try, Mel. All right, kids. Did you get that one right? We have so far done two questions. Woo. Now, let's go on to question number three. Why did Peter get out of the boat? A, he wanted to go for a swim. B, he was trying to look cool in front of everyone else. C, he always walked on water. D, he wanted to walk to Jesus. Whoa! That was pretty close. All right. What's the answer, girls? D. D. You you hesitated. No, it's D. It's D. What's D? What's the answer? He wanted to walk to Jesus. Duh. Yeah! Well, because you guys hit the buzzer and both knew the answer, I'll give both of you guys the point. All right. Kids, did you get that one right? Let us know. Anyway, number four. How was it that Peter was saved from drowning? A, he put on his floaties. B, he kept his eyes and his trust in Jesus. C, he knew how to swim. D, he teleported back to the boat. Well, girls, it is a tie game. Who knows it? Me. me. Uh, oh, oh, Mel. It's what C. is it? C. No! Wow. The answer is obviously B. He kept his eyes and his trust in Jesus. That is correct. Woo. Nice try, Mel. Yeah, good try. But yes. Peter kept his eyes and dressed in Jesus. Bonnie, do you think you can win this game? Uh, yeah. No. Mel, no. do you think you can tie it? Yes, definitely. Wow. Well, let's go on to the final question. Question number five. In your own words, what do you think this story was telling us about Jesus? The finale question. Who knows the answer? I do, I do, oh, I do. Oh, 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 Bonnie, go, go, go. Okay, so what this story was trying to tell us about Jesus is he's the only thing we need. Oh. When we keep our eyes on him and put our trust in him like Peter did, we can do whatever is in front of us, even if it seems impossible, just like how he walked on water. Wow. That's true. you have anything else to add, Mel? No, I think she summed it up very well. Well... Ladies and gentlemen, that means that Bonnie is the winner! Woo! Good game. Good, Good game. game. Great job, Bonnie. Congrats. And yes. Mel. Kids, let us know how you did with the questions. Did you get all of them right? All of them wrong? Let us know. No comment is a bad comment, so let us know what happened. But I am your host, Kenny. This is The Kenny Show. We love you guys. We will see you next week. Bye. Bye.
Well, kids, that is the end of Jesus League week two. Gosh, so many great things happened. We got Coach Iris. Man, she worked me out. I, I'm tired. My shoulders, all of those twisty. Oh, sh I was I was gone from there. But even seeing the drama, how awesome that was in the in the word, learning about how Peter was bold. He took a leap of faith. Man, I know personally I can use that and receive that and be bolder and be more, you know, relying on God, asking him for strength and courage and, you know, taking that leap of faith. But kids, I hope you guys enjoyed every single moment of it because I did. It was so good. But hey, let us know what your favorite part is. Let us know what you loved about it. Comment right now or even DM us on our Instagram or even email us in the link in the description below. But like I said, this is a wrap of Jesus League Week 2. Make sure you guys tune in for this Friday for our Kids Connect. But we will see you next Monday for Jesus League Week 3. All right, guys. See you in the next one.